Do you guys know what your perfect lead looks like? No, it's not someone with a roof leak because there are so many differences between a hospital, a restaurant, and cold storage or manufacturing. They're completely different worlds. And if you want to be seen as a commodity, well, consider yourself a roofing contractor. If you want to be seen as an expert, you got to position yourself as an expert. So when we talk about the perfect type of lead, you guys got to understand what you do great. You got to understand what your clients buy or why they buy from you. Because if a client is buying from you, it means you're doing something right or you're solving a problem that they have. And I can only hope that it's not because you're the lowest or cheapest price in town. That's never a good way to be able to run business because it can only go for so long or you get sucked up into the Walmart world where you got to do a hundred leaks every time it rains, even to show a profit. It doesn't have to be like that. The value that we give as roofing contractors is keeping businesses running. We truly are. Think about some type of uh, food manufacturing plant that gets water in there. That is horrible. Not only is the product destroyed, they have huge cleaning protocols they have to go through and a million other things that ultimately cost them money. The roof leak is a very, very small percentage of what the true impact of the business is. Now, when you talk about perfect leads, you got to understand that. What's the impact? I'm going to say this, and I say it in all of my trainings, you work for your customer's customer. Think about that. You work for your customer's customer. That's what I can tell you about lead development is that you have to understand who your customer works for because if you can make them look good, it's a lot easier to be able to get what you want. Now, there's a hundred different ways that we can go through explaining what the perfect lead is, but what you guys have to know is what is your perfect client? What do you guys do great? What industry is that? And it makes a lot easier to be able to scale your business. So scale means getting more out of what you have. Do your customers have more to spend? Another great question, and I know it doesn't directly lead to what you think lead development is. You don't have to go get new customers. Sometimes there's more opportunities or even new customers within the opportunities that you guys have. Look into your book of business, figure out how to scale it. And that's what I do. That's how I help contractors get more out of what they have. And the first year is massive inside the amount of revenue that's left on the table because of either poor management, poor processes, or just not looking outside the box enough. My name is Chad Westbrook. I am the founder of Service Alignment. And if you have not checked out the leads, sales, or service solutions that I deliver, you're missing out, guys. Go ahead, drop some comments in there, especially if you have a unique way or you want a better way to be able to figure out, hey, how do I get not more leads, but better leads? Enjoy, guys. See you in the next video.